Your love is so pure and real, Lord. Help us to be faithful spouses and keep you first in all that we do. Amen. Mother Claire began, Thank you for being close to me. Oh, Jesus, I don't ever want to have my mind in the world or about things. I want always to be resting on your heart and even in your heart deeply, just lost in your profound goodness. I hate that my mind drifts and thinks of anything other than you. Is there some special way I can put an end to the world in my mind and stay continually focused on you alone? You are doing the right thing when you make the effort to regain your connection to me. Can't you feel it? Yes, Lord, I do feel it. Then stay there, my love. It is that simple. Once you have found the nectar flowing freely from my heart, do all you can to protect those connections. Cleave to me. I certainly am cleaving to you, but when your mind wearies or becomes lax, then I am left alone, and I miss you deeply. Oh, my creatures, how I love your company and presence, and how I long for it 24-7. I know you love your dogs, Claire. And when you feel that welling up inside of you, in fact, when you feel that love most effervescently, give the glory to me for bringing this creature into your life. Yes, that even counts as praise and thanksgiving, a form of worship. In that way, you will not be prone to get stuck on the wonder of this blessed creature. Everything that is praised, let it reflect back on me your creator, and in this way you keep it in perspective. It is when you put it on a pedestal that your affections wander. I was thinking that I miss Tiger, and Jesus said, He misses you too, but soon, very soon, there will be no more separation, and you will rejoice exceedingly. You have many cats waiting for you, by the way. Oh, joy! So many things will be restored to you in heaven, things you wept tears of grief over, but we have fully restored and preserved for you on that day. Jesus, what is truly on your holy heart right now? My love, you are truly on my heart, along with all heart dwellers, whether they recognize you or not. I long to impart wisdom for the coming days for them. My little, little one, I am always thinking of you and how to help you think of others. We do this together. I live in you so securely that I wish for you to spontaneously reach out to those who are struggling and touch them with my love for them. Be aware of what others are going through and even ask them, what little thing could I do for you to brighten your day? Then listen very carefully to their answer, putting it into practice. Care begets caring. Love begets loving. It is so very contagious. Well, my mind is so occupied with what I'm trying to get done for you, I loose my connection. The Lord continued, We'll just try to spread love everywhere you go. Spread it by your attitude when you reply to people. Dear community, always express a loving and caring response when you speak with one another. Always be concerned about your brothers and sisters and mother's state of mind and what you can do to lighten the burdens of their day. Look out for one another, caring deeply from the heart. These simple acts of goodness do so very much for my heart, and all in heaven gaze down on you in amazement when you show this kind of care and unconditional love for one another. Little children, love one another. 
Truly, you are a marvel to men and angels alike when you lavish yourselves on others who are deeply looking for answers and for peace. Prayer is an act of unconditional love, and the more love and concern you put into it, the greater your heart expands. And there is nothing quite so beautiful as a fully expanded heart and soul for another, especially when the other has no relation to you and you love them from the heart, asking nothing in return. When your prayers reach this level of sanctity, you will find yourself surrounded by hungry souls, crying out for love and healing. There is no greater act you can perform than to love your brothers and sisters with all the powers of your heart. It is then that you become a marvel to God and angels alike who draw great consolation from every act of love you perform, whether you are aware or unaware of it. You see, my brides, there is no greater force in this universe than love. Love when it is completely spontaneous and unprovoked, is the very essence of my being, and nothing in this universe has power over such love. It reigns supreme, and those who exercise it rank in heaven as true saints. And how do you attain to this privilege? Continually deny yourself and do for others which you would have them do for you. Let your love shine out and bring all men to me. Amen. God bless you, dear heart dwellers, and may we all seek to love others from the heart of Jesus.